Lagos Indigency Buhari, Attorney General of the Federation, AGF Malami, Governor Sangwolu over marginalization, discrimination in appointments. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. The suit was filed by four legal practitioners, Yakubu Eleto, Adeyemi Onikoro, Shetu Akim, and Nuruddin Aragbeshola. Others are Chief Mohammed Jamiu, Madam Titilayo Medeme Ogun, and Benga Aguru for themselves and on behalf of Lagos State. Hmm. They are now filing on the grounds of what exactly? They are filing that they have been marginalized. I thought the only people being marginalized are the Southeasterners. And of course, I know the Middle Belt. So the Southwest are coming out and say they have been marginalized. <laughs> ah, okay. At the end of the day, some people will now know that everything that is being fought for in Nigeria, the best way to fight is, is to come together. If we come together and tell ourselves that, look, we are not the enemies here. The North will stop fighting the West. The West will stop fighting the East. The East will stop fighting. As in, at the end of the day, everybody will now know that we are not the problems. We are not our problems, rather. We have a common problem, and it is until we unite like that during that incident, until we unite and face our problem collectively, it is still going to work. We're still going to be trapped in the same place. Stay with us, the news in detail. A group of the ages of Lagosians Advocacy Group, LAG, has dragged the Federal Character Commission, FCC, and 18 others before Justice. Ambrose Lewis Aloga of the Federal High Court in Lagos over a large continuous and deliberate violation of constitutional rights of Lagos state indigents. Regarding appointment to public offices and career positions. This suit was filed by four legal practitioners, Yakubu Eleto, Adeyemi Onikoro, Shitu Akim, Nuruddin, Nuruddin Aragbeshola, Others are Chief Mohammed Jamu, Madam Titilayo, Mother Me Ugu, and Benga Agoru for themselves and on behalf of LAG. However, the Nigerian President, Attorney General of the Federation, the Senate, the Lagos State Governor, Attorney General of Lagos State, Lagos State House of Assembly, Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, or Progressive Congress, APC, and the People's Democratic Party, PDP, we are some of the defendants. Others are Head of Service of the Federation, Federal Civil Service Commission, Head of Service of Lagos State, Lagos State Civil Service Commission, Lagos State Local Government Service Commission, Lagos State House of Assembly Service Commission, Lagos State Judicial Service Commission, Lagos State Teaching Service Commission and Lagos State Health Service Commission. They were joined as second to 19th defendants. At the hearing of the suit on Monday, the plaintiffs were represented by Yakube Leto, while the 5th, 7th, 13th, and 19th defendants were represented by Olamide Ibrahim. MS Sali represented the 8th defendant, while Adeleke Ogunuga represented the 9th defendant. In his argument, a letter told the court that the plaintiff had filed the responses to the preliminary objections filed by other parties that were, that were represented in court. Responding to issues raised in the preliminary objections, a letter maintained that it was a settled law that members of the LG, LAG could maintain the action in their personal and representative capacities notwithstanding that the group is not registered as a legal entity. He also faulted claims by the defender that the plaintiffs have no local standing to institute the action. The lawyer argued that a Section 6B of the Constitution has created a constitutional local standing in meters relating to challenges to the provisions of the Constitution and statutory enactments under it and that the issue of sufficient interest required in other ordinary cases is inapplicable. He subsequently submitted that the objection of the defendants to local standing of a plaintiff is to maintain an action in respect of breach 
or non-compliance with the constitutional and statutory provisions as it relates to indigenous of Lagos states is misconceived and should be discontinued. He also described the submissions of the defendants that the suit is premised on non-compliance with the constitutional provisions of Section 13 and 14 contained in the Chapter 2 of the Constitution was not justifiable as misconceived. The defendants have contended in their preliminary objections that a plaintiff have no local standing to institute your actions and that the substance of a case is not justifiable. The defendant also contended that the suit was wrongly initiated by way of originating motions. After listening to the submission of parties, Justice Alagua adjourned the matter to April 11, 2022 for judgment. There is no reason why another Nautana will replace Hadiza Bala Usman, who looted MPA dry. Hmm. This one, they are suing almost, they are suing almost everybody. What in Baba go Dubai? When I know the right man to meet. Well, let me ask this question. These people, are they not, I mean, I'm seeing the president and are they not all, you, we all know how, um, um, dependent the judiciary are when it comes to you know passing out judgment and you know taking orders these people did they did they obey law in this country of course they don't they don't all the court cases hanging on nigeria whereas in nigeria we start her own <laughs> we 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 for body how are you shame sincerely this is not funny National Kid go reach every one of them, we will never forget. My honest, will it make sense? Will it make sense? I thought you about people are well compensated. Why are they suing? Remember the promise to give an attainable president on a spoil everything. <laughs> Maybe we should leave me alone. Look at these people though. At the end of the day, my own is how are you sure after the swing anything any good thing will come out of it? Well, we we'll keep fighting. You see that Nigeria that we all want. We are going to create it for ourselves. It's not going to fall into our laps. We have to fight for it. Each and every one of us has a part to play. Had it been everybody, you do what is expected of you in times like this. Cases come to your table and you treat the cases as it's supposed to be. Then gradually, gradually, we'll get the Nigeria we're so grateful. On this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of the day.